Oh, this is a uh, different. This is a night shot mode. I had it on this camera, so I thought I'd try it. Now you can see the Yukon up on top pretty easy. The illuminator is covered still. And uh, right now everything is cool. I've got it taped on, so I'm pretty leery about do leaving this on too, too long. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And now, maybe this will work. Uh, let me punch in Jupiter and see what happens. I should have to just hit go to. Now the telescope's moving to Jupiter. And I'll look at the screen. There he comes into the picture on UFO capture. Okay, see it? That's pretty sweet. And then I can just move it off to other stars and hit go to and it brings it right back in. And I'm right out in front of the house with a giant light bulb, bright light on. But anyway, that's a scam um, for today. And this little, where am I here? Let me go wide angle. Uh, the little screen on the telescope tells me it's Jupiter and it tells me mm, magnitude and rises and sets and all kinds of different goofy stuff. And here's the hand control unit, which I'm just going to leave play. And I don't think we can get a picture of this, but. I'm going to try to put this up to the... It's probably not going to work. Into the lens to see if you can see it. But I don't see nothing. Nothing, honey. So, anyway. So let me back this out. Focus this way up. There it is. Now you can see the Yukon sitting up on top. And I just got it taped on for now. It's kind of hokey, but it works. Okay, that's my setup for tonight. And I'm just testing to see if um, if I can uh, capture satellites and just track them with this thing, because it has its own tracking software built in. You just load in the coordinates, and it goes finds a satellite and then tracks it. It actually just it uses those coordinates to think to position the telescope where it thinks the satellite's going to be. It doesn't really track it. Okay? Rondo, signing out.